Hello and welcome to Siebel Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm with KKM Financial. We're looking at VIX cash pushing lower down to 15 spot 50, which is the low end of the range really for the year. Uh, testing lows that we did see in August and the SPX up for a sixth consecutive session. So momentum shifting to the upside for the SPX, retaking some key technical levels and downside pressure on the VIX cash continues. And we are looking at realized volatility, holding pretty steady for 30 day realized volatility, right around 14%. So that compression between realized volatility and implied levels of volatility, the VIX measures is tightening from a historical perspective, excuse me, it's very tight between 14 and a half and 15 spot five zero on the VIX cash. Cash. I want to point out the at the money straddle on the SPX is pretty steady here, right around 12%, which is also the low end of the range for the year. And moving into VIX expiration, we did have the expiration for uh, October today, and we did see the cash get marked out. I think at 15 spot 35 is what the VRO is showing. So that's certainly the low end of the range for the year. And we are seeing the roll market shifting quite dramatically as we move into this new cycle. November, December roll out to $1.80. Interestingly, December, January roll is out to $1.65. Again, that December future has a tendency to trade at a discount because of the holidays in the calculation. But there's no question the steepening of the curve continues in the VIX cash as it's very steep out to really out to March of next year if you look at the curve as a whole. BVIX, measure implied volatility in the VIX options, 103. That's the low end of the range for the year as well. So again, we're seeing implied levels of volatility in the VIX options coming in. Today's activity post expiration is in November puts, highlighted by the November 15 puts. We did see about 54,000 of those trades so far today. I want to point out we're moving into earnings season. So the next couple of days, I think the driving forces between the volatility front are going to be earnings as well as technical expectations in the market as we're seeing momentum shifting to the upside in most of the equity markets.